Hi, friends. Today we are going to learn about more noun cases. So let's start. We know that noun is a naming word, and all the naming words, that is, names of persons, animals, birds, places, things, even feelings or ideas, are called nouns. Cases of nouns, pronouns, and we also learned that every noun has some relation with some other word in the sentence. The relationship between the noun and some other word in the sentence is called case. We have already learned about two cases of nouns and pronouns: nominative case and accusative case. Now the cases we are going to learn about are the vocative case, the possessive case, and the dative case. We are going to begin with the possessive case or genitive case of noun and pronoun. A noun or pronoun is said to be in possessive case or genitive case when it shows ownership, authority, origin, kind, etc. Let's learn this with the help of examples. That book is mine. The pronoun mine shows the ownership of the book, so the pronoun mine is in the possessive case, also called genitive case. That is Rika's car. The word Rika's shows the ownership of the car, so here the word Rika's is a possessive or the genitive case, as it is showing possession. Now let's learn how to make possessive cases of different nouns. If we have a singular noun, we can apostrophe s after it to make it a possessive noun. For example, girl, girls, boy, boys, child, childs. Here are some sentences. This girl's dress is very elegant. This boy's perfume is very nice. And if the noun is plural, for example, girls, we can make a possessive noun by adding an apostrophe in the end. Let's have a look at example sentences. Those girls' dresses are very nice. This means that the dresses of those girls are very nice. Here, girls with an apostrophe in the end is a possessive case of a plural noun. Let's have more cases of possessive cases of plural nouns. This is boy's perfume. This means that this perfume is for boys. Here. Boys is the possessive case of a plural noun. This child's handwriting is very beautiful. Here, the word "child" is a possessive case of a singular noun. All these books are mine. Here, the pronoun "mine" shows the possession of something. So, mine. Is a possessive pronoun. Your hair is very long. Here, the pronoun "your" shows possession, so it's a possessive pronoun. Whose books are these? Whose spectacles are these? Here we have more examples. Vocative case of noun pronoun. Noun is said to be in vocative case when it's the name of a person being addressed in the sentence. Let's learn with examples. Lisa, come here and have your breakfast. Here, Lisa is noun in the vocative case as Lisa is being addressed or talked to. Hey Sam, 
Let's play football. Here, Sam is in the vocative case as Sam is being addressed or talked to. Olivia, please concentrate on your work. Here, Olivia is a noun in the vocative case as Olivia is being addressed or talked to. Joy, you have been playing since five hours. Now come inside. Here, Joy is in a vocative case of noun. John, will you come to play with me? Here too, John is in a vocative case. Oh, John, you have done it in the wrong manner. In this sentence, the word John is in a vocative case as it's the name of the person we are talking to. So, the exact naming verbs are the nouns that are in the vocative case. Now we have to learn the last case of the noun, and it is the dative case. When a noun is used as an indirect object of the verb, it's said to be in a dative case. We will learn with examples. My father gave Tia a book. Father is the subject. Gave is the verb. And he gave what? He gave a book. So, book is a direct object. And gave the book to whom? Gave the book to Tia. So, Tia is indirect object of the verb. So, Tia is said to be in the dative case. Here we have more examples. My mother made me a pizza. Mother is the subject. Made is the verb. And she made what? Pizza. So, pizza is the direct object. But mother made pizza for whom? For me. So, indirect object of the verb is me. So, me is said to be in the dative case. The teacher gave children a surprise test. Teacher is the subject. Gave is the verb. And gave what? Gave a test. So, test is the direct object. And gave test to whom? To the children. So, children is an indirect object of verb. So it will be said to be in the dative case. So friends, we have learned about the cases of nouns. There are five cases of nouns and pronouns in English. The nominative case, the objective case, the vocative case, the possessive case, the dative case. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.